hello guys in this video we are going to be learning how to design our sales page we are going to be looking at what is a sales page and all about sales page and thank you page now why do we need a sales page and what is it all about you know most times when you're running your ads on facebook you want your customers to land on your sales page when they click on your shop now link or order now link right so let's look at what the sales page is Let's look at what is a sales page. A sales page is something like this, whereby you have all your product, the details of your product, enough pictures of that product, the price for that product, and also the promo of that product all on the page. Now, a sales page is actually different from your main website. It's different from your home page, all right? The home page contains a lot of products, your shop, your shop page your home page every details of your product but a sales page is a page that contains the details of one particular product it's always wise to have just one product on one sales page all right to increase conversion so most times a customer may ask you please can you send me more pictures about this product can you tell me more about the product so all those informations that the customer needs are all on the sales page they can go on the sales page and see them and make their buying decision as you can see here now this sales page that we're going to be building is going to be very responsive both to mobile and to tablet and also to your desktop all right so this is how the mobile view is going to be of course you know that 90 percent of your users and your viewers and your customers are going to be viewing your website with a mobile phone so you want to make it mobile responsive all right so this is how the sales page is going to be so any customers can come here they will make their buying decision right on this home page all the offers you're giving everything is going to be on this home page uh, of this sales page sorry so now what is a sales page we've answered that then why do you need to create a sales page because you need to it's like convincing your customer because you're not always going to be there when your customers will be maybe visiting your page it could be when you are even sleeping someone could just land on you as long as your ad is running or people have the link to your your sales page they can just go visit it look at the uh, products go through the products and decide to buy even when you're not there so you need a sales page because if you're sleeping obviously you cannot sell when you're sleeping or when you're attending to one customer per time as a person you can only attend to a customer per time but with your sales page you can attend to hundreds or millions of customers you just give them these links all of them will come to the website and be seeing every question that they would have been asking you so it's really tiring answering hundreds of customers on whatsapp or on chat or one-on-one -on -one. but with your sales page even when you're not there so it is very important you have a sales page now what should be in the sales page the very first thing in the sales page should be a catchy heading because when they land on this sales page this is the first thing they will see they want to see a catchy heading enjoy fast and free delivery something like this or any other thing you want to write then the next thing they want to see is the product image or video you show them the video because they want to see exactly what they will get when they shop online what they are going to receive so you may want to show them the video or the product pictures or something like that then you convince them more send up more pictures give them the discount the offer all this thing why buy it tell them why they should buy the products come down here see more pictures see a lot of pictures this is why should you buy the products you tell them the reason why they need to buy it you give them more pictures just convincing so that any person that visits this page will actually be eager to buy the next thing is the product price make sure you state the price on that page right look at the price state it and also show them the amount they will be saving that they are this is currently on promo and they are going to be getting this discount all right then the next thing that should be on your page is your offer you're offering them not just the, the watch or the product but they are getting the accessories for free these are the offers so now you need to show them a timer that this thing is actually a promo it's not going to be here forever 
so you need to make your decision as up this is the timer counting down for them this is going to make them want to buy all right so then the next thing is call to action okay they've decided to buy what should they do now that they've decided to buy there has to be a button call to action button click this button to buy when they click on it it's going to now bring them to the final one which is the other form this is where you now collect their details if you are selling to them pay on delivery if you want them to make outright payment on the site you're going to integrate your payments right here but this place they are going to be filling their details and then they'll submit these details and that's it so that submission form is going to bring them to the thank you page now in another video we are going to be talking about the thank you page but for this video let's just restrict, uh, restrict it to sales page so how do we achieve this let's jump into it guys so the first thing you want to do is to come to your home your dashboard make sure you are the admin of this uh, website come to your wordpress dashboard then you go to pages click on pages when it brings you to pages the next thing you want to do is to click on add new page because you want to create a new page now your your sales page is different from your website home page this is not your website home page you are trying to create a new page inside your website all right so the um url of this sales page is going to be your website name slash this page name so now we want to run ads for let's say we want to run ad for a watch ultra maybe the watch ultra so the url of this website is going to be chrisma.ng slash your website slash that page name watch ultra or whatever the page is going to be so the next thing you want to do is to come down to templates and change the template to elemental canvas make sure it's on elemental canvas this is going to help you to avoid distracting your customer when they visit your sales page because when they're on your home page they are going to be seeing a lot of products a lot of links to click contact or shop now all that but you want to make sure that your sales page doesn't have all those things it's just plain you only see the content of that sales page that you want them to see there'll be no distraction to click on any other button so you want to leave it on elemental canvas so you click on update or if yours is schedule click on schedule click again and this page has been created successfully so now we want to uh the next thing we want to do is to start creating the content in the page and we, remember we installed elemental um elemental plugin in our previous video if you haven't watched the video on how to set up your wordpress um, your wordpress installation and setup please go and look for that video it's right here in my channel now um we are going to start editing the video uh, the page so we'll just click on edit with elementor then you allow the page to load and it brings us here so this is a sample of what we are going to be building guys it is so beautiful now the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have um you, you make sure that you have all the details that you want to create a folder have all the pictures that you're going to use <clears throat> all right have all the pictures that you're going to use that's something i forgot to add here make sure you have a testimonial because that testimonial is going to show them pictures of people that have bought your products and then they will be eager to buy because they've seen that other people have bought it okay so you may want to have um, a folder where you already have all the pictures that you're going to be using for your sales page as you can see this is the testimonial this is the photos i snap real photos make sure you have real photos of because customers want to see exactly what they will get when they buy then uh we also have the other photos i just downloaded online so we are going to be using all these things for the sales page so this is just to make the work easier and faster so guys now we are going to start creating our sales page the first thing will be now I'll, I'll, before i start i want to explain all this uh, elemental thing in case you're new to elemental so this is the part where you're going to be creating your page 
this is the uh, sections it's called the sections you're going to be creating different section here and these are the elements these are the elements you're going to be using to edit to design and to style the the web uh, the sales page that we're building so uh when you click on this plus icon you're going to see these are different sections you may want to add a section or two section maybe you just want to write a text like this that like we have here I want to write this first text so let's now so i just click on this space i want to uh, just put a text on top then i'll just click on this space and then click on this nine uh, nine dots and drag and drop this text element then i'm going to write whatever i want to write here maybe the first thing i want to tell them is that it's going to be free delivery and you will pay on delivery this is amazing so this is what i've written i can reduce the size just click on font come here you can reduce and increase the size okay so let's leave it like this at 25. then the next thing i want to do is to come to content bring it to the middle now i want to change the background color click on this main section this main section then come to style this is the background click on it and then select the color you want to use i want to use red color this is red then once the text click on the text come to style then go to color I want the text color to be white right this is white so this is looking good already and this is it so the next thing you want to show them now is the picture of the product they will be receiving the exact picture they will be seeing because they are, you need to if, you know the, you need to capture their attention within the first five seconds of visiting your site now they've seen that the delivery is free okay what next you click on this section click on two sections now we want to add image click on this please then look at the image icon the image element then you drag and drop it here you select the image you want to use so uh if the image you want to use is not here already i don't have the image here you click on upload files then go to your file i'm going to go to that file that i've created that folder i created for this web page so i'm just going to click on the camera photos i've taken so the first photo i want them to see is the this photo of the product all right so once i upload it then i'll click on select so this is the first picture they, they are going to see of the product all right so then here you, you may want to write something like maybe you want to put a test and say um uh, maybe select your favorite colors and we will deliver to you so this is just a simple text then i want to reduce the size the font then i'll come here and reduce the size to 25 i want to reduce the size to 25 I also want to center it, put it center aligned. This is it. So let's look at the mobile view. Click on this icon. This is how the site is looking already. So this is good. This text is too big on mobile. Make sure you adjust the mobile because most of your customers will be mobile viewers. So this is good now. So the next thing I want to do is to uh, add another section, add more pictures give them all the available pictures now i want to show them all the pictures that, okay when you click on this one make sure you put it to full so let's put more pictures upload go to select file so here i want to show them this blue first then allow it to load then select the next thing you want to see put another picture here put a picture here so make it full uh, upload so we can actually select all the pictures we have and then upload all of them once okay so I want to select all the pictures so I'm just going to select this one select this one select this one select this select this Oh, sorry select this one select this select this 
we are going to select this you can select as many as you want at a time select this select 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 so select all the pictures we want to select then we'll push them you just allow it to load so after loading you can now select the ones you want to use all right so i want to upload this one i actually want this one to be together with this one so i can easily just drag uh, and put it on top now you can see this is how it is now looking all right this is good so when they come they will see these pictures and they're already convinced so now you want to put more pictures let's put another picture here maybe the black one so i'll bring this one then i'll go to make it full i'll go to picture and then i want to put the black one so i'll put the black one here and this is good this is looking good let's look at the mobile view and see how it's looking on mobile yes this is good on mobile so the customers they are seeing the exact product they are going to be getting all right so so what we'll do is to put more pictures more colors available maybe we'll just have to add white two more colors so we we'll just add another two section two section so you want to do it again put image all right so come here let's look for the white one this is the white put the white so let's put another color so they have enough picture to decide the more they see this picture the uh more they, they get interested so let's put the red red is a good color it's attractive color so we have enough picture right now all right so uh, the next thing you want to do now is to create a section why buy this section your order comes with all the, this so you now tell them you've told them what they are going to get with those pictures you uploaded so the next thing you want to put is the price guys this is the price okay so that's what you want to put next the price um, so Uh, so let's copy let's just copy here so I want to create a section and put text in it this is text right so we want to uh, tell them that if you order now so we want to reduce the font yeah this is good now so inside this section we want all the price to be there so the next thing I want to put is the price uh, so you just come to this please put section section editor add this section then you want to put the price okay now let's use you can also delete or you can also duplicate so I can duplicate this and change the text to the price all right so I want to click on this price I'll copy it so we can actually just come here delete everything there and put the price we want right so the next thing we want to do is to create another this one then this one so I'll just duplicate this uh, then I'll drag it down all right below the price I just bring it below the price sorry okay so uh, let's let's get another text put it below the price then what we want to put there is this text all right this one so we'll just copy from here and then we'll put it there then want to reduce the size uh, make it uh, smaller a little bit the same size with the other one so and the last thing we want to do is this price uh, you just tell them what they are going to uh, put 
this one what, what they're going to mix if they don't buy now so let them understand that the price will go higher if they don't buy now so if they don't buy now the price is going higher to um let's give them the price at fifty thousand five hundred so but if they are buying now they get it at this price okay or we can reduce this one to twenty seven thousand so they would know that they are actually getting this at a good price okay so now i want to style this thing to make it uh look like this black okay so we want to change the background color to black come to this place you come background color so we'll make it dark right or we can make it blue let's make it dark blue and i want to change the text the text inside to white so the text color is going to be white no 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 um okay so i want to change the text this text is going to be white let's click here then we want the price here to be uh, green it's gonna be green so we want this color to be white this one we want it to be white and then we want this we want this we want this to be um, red because that's the price if they don't buy they are going to miss so we just want to add a style to strike through it so you just come down come to decoration come to decoration on the lines line through we're just going to cancel something like this so this is good guys we have exactly what we have here so you may just want to leave it like this or if you want to put those lines under you can do that by adding uh come to advance when you come to advanced go to border then you can put uh, solid then uh, you want to put uh, bottom you want to put at the bottom so now the color should be white or oh, the color so now guys we have we have done that look at the line but I really don't want to put that line okay so I'll just remove it okay so i'll just undo that um i don't want that but i just show you that it's possible you can add it if you want to so this is looking good here all right so we are done here so the next thing we want to do because we've told them the price and the next thing we want to add now is more pictures they just want to see more pictures that's what they want to see more pictures to convince them so we want to add more pictures um i just go to my pictures and maybe i'll select this one or even this one let's see this one this one is good yeah good so here they can see all the available colors now this is good so i just want to add another picture here yeah so just put this one yeah this one the last one yeah we are good now so this is what they will see so you see this is this is nice look at the mobile view how it's going to look on mobile so this is how it's going to look on mobile very nice so the next thing we want to add is um something like this classic photo maybe the photo we downloaded from online something that's more more convincing than what you've done so you just add more sections uh it's basically photo 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 that's most of the things you'll be using okay so you want to click on photo let's go back to our folder that we've created remember we have a folder that's um called aliexpress i got these pictures from aliexpress so you want to show them something that um maybe let's show them that this watch can actually make a phone call so um 
so maybe this this one we show them this one this one is there incoming call and messages the watch can receive incoming calls and messages okay guys this is good so we'll put another image we want to show them uh, another thing so uh, we can select all the pictures and just put them see them there then later later we can select the ones we want right so i just add all of them all right so this is good so you can you can select all the pictures and upload them once all right as you can see they are all uploading okay the pictures are much so they are uploading slowly just give it a little time so this one has uploaded we can upload it here we bring it here we can just add maybe a few let's add two more so you can actually duplicate this section just duplicate and it comes down so you just change the pictures to something else um, maybe listen to music or even um, let's use this one this one is good then change this one too let's use um let's use this one this is good so everything is looking good now guys we are going to right the next section is going to be let's add one more section this is going to be why do i need to buy you understand this is what we have here why should i buy why should i buy let's let's do that so we have the section here we're going to put text because we want to put some text in there so you just paste it why should i buy you may want to leave the size like that or even uh, reduce it a bit they want it to be on the center bring it to the center then you, you put a uh, section this is the, now telling them what they should buy so you come here let's copy then we we'll clean all the things here and then put what we want to put look at it guys this is looking good now you can come to style if you want this thing is to jump part so you can go to typography go to line height and then we increase the line a bit yeah this is good this is good now okay this is good so the next thing we want to do is to add more pictures uh, yeah so you, let's tell them exactly what they are getting what you get when you buy so even they've seen the picture anyway but we can just add that just to make our sales page more entertaining all right uh, so that they will spend more time uh, on on this sales page they wouldn't want to go they want to read more and more and more so we want to tell them the things they will get inside the set so you want to copy this then we come to this place get section put it under here sorry that's 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 not correct uh, we'll get the section put it under here all right so we copy this again then we remove all this and put what we copied so this is good the next thing we want to do, they have more pictures. We've done this section. You want to put this price again the second time. So they will see, even while they are going down, they will have to see it again. So instead of creating this again, you just come here and copy. Just copy. Copy the entire section. All right. Then you come down here and paste it. Click on paste. It's going to paste here again. Okay. So after telling them the price, what do you want to tell them next? You want to tell, give them a button. So you need, we omitted something here. You need to put a button here that they can use to buy. Okay. So this is the button. When you click on here, you can change the text. You can say order now. That's what you want to put here. Then you want to make it a uh, center. Of 
course or you can leave it where it is but you want to make it large make the button large then you also want to change the color of the button come here button color this is the text color inside the button then the button background color you want it to be red oh uh, no we want it to be green yeah green is good so on hover when you hover on the button it should change to um background should change to maybe red okay dark red like this is good okay so that's good now uh we want the button to be to be big to be big enough so we want to come to border default uh no 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 we want to come to layout width we want to make it full width all right so full width then you come to content make it full now we have the button covering the entire section let's see how it looks on mobile look at it is looking so good on mobile right look at it it's nice on mobile so we just want to copy this place this button copy bring it down to the other yeah so we want to paste it here click on paste it's gonna paste here so that's good guys this is good this is looking so good this how to build your sales page so the next thing we want to add is more pictures of course more pictures <laughs> more pictures so just add maybe four more pictures yeah four more pictures is good so we want to add remember how to add picture put picture all these things are elements you can pick anyone and add all right so we want to put um let's look for the one we'll put let's put someone wearing the watch yeah this is good then we want to also put another picture of um maybe someone sleeping that lady is sleeping yeah these are the functions of the watch so they will be looking at it and seeing more functions of the watch so i want to put two more sections put a picture here maybe you can choose another picture um let's choose another beautiful one look at this add this one then here we want to add another picture which picture are we going to pick now um let's see the watch faces this is the watch faces so we want to put the watch faces all right this is good now so look at it this is nice so we have four more pictures so we want to give some gap we want to give some gap on the top of this and the bottom of this so you click here when you click here you come to advance this is margin so at the top we want to put maybe 20 pixel yeah 20 pixel is good to give some space here and there so that's good so the next thing we want to do right now is um to go down these are more pictures of what they will be getting so this is another section the timer section we don't want to mix it miss it so don't miss this just come here put put text so you want to tell them don't miss this offer don't miss this offer do something like this uh, don't miss this offer promo and soon this is it so don't miss this. of course you want to make this to be uh, red because it's a warning it's like a danger so you make it red you can also change the typography let's change the type of domain 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 is good you can change it to poppins just come here you want to put it to poppins click on popping this is good now so we want it to be on the middle so bring it to the middle don't miss this so the timer is the next thing how do we put this countdown timer when you come to your elemental go to this place and search for timer countdown timer all right so you just drag it come here keep it under here the timer is here now so due date uh, evergreen if you want it to do date, if you want it to end some particular time you put it but evergreen make it always on so hours how many hours maybe 24 hours 
we want it to be 24 hours 59 seconds and all that so it's showing the time so it is actually here but the the color is white that's why you're not seeing it so to be able to see it go to style um the box color what color do you want the box to be red now we we'll bring it to red right so this is good the text color is white everything here is good you can customize it the content change the color to any color you want but i think white is okay right so it is counting down as you can see you can style it if you want this is layout you can style it add more padding add border and all that but i think it's fine like this so so guys after this section the next part i want to add is the testimonial the testimonial is very important because it will help your customers to relate to other customers to relate to the products they will see other customers that have got, got that product and they love it so they too want to get okay so if you have some pro some testimonials you may want to just add them here so we just put since testimonials are video uh, pictures we just put them here pictures add the picture elements okay uh, you can also add video if you want but i have uh, i have pictures so i'll just put the picture elements so i'll make this one full then click on it uh we go to upload the testimonial from that same folder that we've been using so my folder is desktop i go to the folder we created for this particular this is it, the testimonial folder so i want to copy all the testimonials right because i want to use uh, five of them i'll just uh, upload then it is uploading yeah so i will uh, this is how my testimonial is I just the watch and the person that received it so I'll add this one it's looking good these are real life testimonial but before you start adding these pictures um, first you add text look at text so add text to it and let's write it um, here so what you want to tell them is to tell them that this is our testimonial you can just see here uh, what our happy customers are seeing so this is good uh, you want to just um, bring it to the middle oh no let's leave it like this then we just want to give you some padding yeah let's give you some padding like this is okay about 20 20 is fine uh you just want to also reduce the size yeah i think we need to have it in two lines yeah 35 is good 35 is good so uh we want to make the background a little bit um let's make the background a little bit uh, let's give it some color maybe gray something gray uh, something like this gray then we want to give it padding we want to give the entire section padding at the bottom and at the top so um, some margin yeah that is good then here the bottom 20 yeah so this is looking good already so uh we can change this text we can just go to typography change this to popping i like using popping you know yeah good this is nice so we want to increase it because we want it to be in two lines this is good so the line height i just increase the line height a bit uh perfect perfect so good so let's add more video more photos more testimonials not just one we want to have enough testimonials to to convince them <clears throat> so i just come back here i add this red one i want to add four so i'll duplicate this duplicate <clears throat> so i have i have it down here again so i'll click and change the photo to another one maybe black we want to send the black <clears throat> then we'll change this one to to the blue yeah we 
change this one to the blue maybe this one so this is the one I want to change change it to uh, the black this blue uh, no 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 I want to change it to this black good so we have four testimonials we can even add one more but this four is okay all right all right so this is it the testimonial very important please so let's check how it is going to look on mobile so on the mobile view the counter is not okay this is not okay so we are going to reduce this the fonts yeah so we just reduce the font just this 15 is okay 15 is okay then this so what we want to do is just to click on style go to content to reduce to the size I want to have it like this we don't yeah good this is 30 that is fine I think that is fine for mobile view so this is okay now uh, maybe want to make this one a little bigger but I think it's fine this is good this is okay so here's a, what our customer is saying because we have to make this in mobile responsive so that uh, the mobile viewers will be making your website um, responsive will also help the go the CEO ranking the Google ranking okay so you want to touch this one just to give me just two line two line is okay this is fine this is absolutely okay and these are the pictures and this is it guys this is beautiful all right so the next thing you want to add is the other form guys uh but we are not going to be doing that we're going to be using another de uh, detailed video to explain how this form work how to use the form okay we're actually going to be using the fluent forms to build a powerful form that when we are done we are going to come back to add it here so you need to watch out for the next part of this video because i don't want this video to be too long okay it's already long even so i want to thank you for watching please subscribe and look for the next video on how to create a form and other form video on how to create an other form